A heavily shackled Prince Dube told the court again that he does not wish to apply for bail. He is accused of luring women with the promise of employment opportunities before raping and killing them. Dube was arrested in November last year in possession of a cell phone that belonged to one of the victims. Investigations then led to the discovery of seven decomposed bodies, all hidden in various locations around Polokwane. The National Prosecuting Authority says it's still awaiting DNA results from some of the victims. This matter has been postponed for further investigation and for us to obtain the DNA results. The family of one of the victims, 42-year-old Sarah Mutiba, says the constant court postponements are dragging both financially and emotionally. The case keeps getting postponed and as a family, we spend a lot of money to come to court, but there is never any finality. We wish for the case to be concluded because every time we come to court, we can see that he is well fed and well taken care of in the cells while our hearts are bleeding and we spend money that we don't have to come here constantly. Dube has been demanded in custody. Community members continued to protest outside court. Biman Baloi, SABC News, Sishiko outside Polukwane.